Well, hello again, everybody. It's still Sunday, March 13th. Spring forward. And I have uh, continued to head south along the Yakima River. I'm now south of Granger, home of Grandpa Carl. And I'm on Emerald Road. So here's another video where I'm going to give you a GPS location. Look in the description right below the video screen right now and you'll find a Google Maps link for this spot on Emerald Road. Just parking on the shoulder here. And this place has been asked about by many, many people for reasons we will discuss in just a second involving the old Columbia River. But uh, to get our bearings, I'll just kind of uh, wander here on this side of the road on this shoulder. Now I gotta say right off the bat, we gotta be careful now. This is private land. So I don't think there's harm in you kind of parking right here and walking like I'm walking and and looking at a few of these rock samples that we are obviously going to go across the, the road and look at. But please be aware that this is private land and please be aware that there's some traffic here and everything else. So this is different than the other videos I've done recently. This is not public land. This is not a place where, you know, there's a visitor center and everything else. This is simply just a shoulder of a road. But on a Sunday at noon, um, it's pretty low key. And uh, you should know about it. And the people, the, the reason people, I'm sorry, let me, let, me, let me continue with my orientation here first. So you're looking essentially north, Emerald Road, heading towards the little town called Granger, Washington. And here comes the same Yakima River that we saw this morning. The Yakima River flowing south right here. Nice little floodplain. Looks like things have been grazed a fair amount down there, at least on this side of the river. I don't know much of the status of this land, but let's just assume everything's private, okay? Let's just assume everything's private. I don't, I don't want to get you in trouble, and I guess I don't want to feel like I've uh, sent you in a wrong path here. I don't want you to just start wandering. And looking to the west across the Yakima River, that's Toppenish Ridge. There's a rather significant landslide over there, which I've always meant to learn about. Maybe I will this spring. US 97 from Yakima up and over down towards Goldendale and Maryhill, that's, that's uh, over in that direction. So you're looking into the foothills of the Cascades. The breeze is picking up a little bit. I think a front's going to start coming through this afternoon and into tomorrow. So just trying to take advantage of this weather before it deteriorates. So I see a car's coming, so let me just give you a little bit more just kind of basic stuff and then we'll go across the road and take a look. Um, I've done a, a field trip here for the public a few years ago. In fact, I had to do my homework. I had to go to nickzentner.com just a second ago on my cell phone and uh, look at the field trip handouts that I put together a few years ago to remind myself of the age it went and when the Columbia River came through the area. So I don't mean to frustrate you here, but I, I want to set the hook just a little bit more before we go across. This is the Yakima River, and yet these river cobbles that are over here to the east side of Emerald Road are not river cobbles from the Yakima River. Instead, they are river cobbles from the Columbia River. When the Columbia River used to flow through this spot more than 10 million years ago. Oh, we just lost a little bit of daylight here. I think I'm going to stop. So, how is that possible? How can we have the Yakima River here? I know it's a little bit lower, but like I would guess almost everybody that thinks about these cobbles just assumes these are Yakima River cobbles. The reason we know these are Columbia River cobbles and not Yakima River cobbles are the stones themselves. 
So I think we do need to cross the road and just look at some layering of these cobbles. And the takeaway message is these cobbles have been sitting together next to each other for at least 10 million years. And you're like, well, wait a minute. I thought the Ice Age floods were in this area. Aren't these Ice Age floods cobbles? The answer is no, and there's reasons for that. The basic message is we know that there are lava flow layers above this Snipes Mountain conglomerate, and we know that there are lava flow layers below this Snipes Mountain conglomerate. And therefore, we can sandwich in time which interval of time we're talking about, and you're like, okay, I guess I'll take that. I'll take your word for that, but are we still thinking about uh, the possibility of the Akama River? And the answer is no. The reason is most of these cobbles are quartzite. So I've got my hammer. Hiya! Oh boy. And quartzite is hard rock. Let's try again. Hiya! Oh boy. Now, of course I had to pick the biggest one. Let me pick a smaller one. You're starting to think less of me, aren't you? Hiya! <laughs> I'm not going to give up. But I want you to notice that so many of these cobbles, which are loose here, of course, but they have clearly fallen out of this pile. So many of these cobbles are quartzite. Okay, now I gotta get now I gotta get serious. Find one that's kind of flat. Yeah, this guy, this this guy's coming over. These are right next to the road. Again, private land, but I hope I'm not getting you in trouble by sending you here. I don't think you'll have trouble. Come on, baby. Got it. This is the smoking gun for the Columbia River. And I don't have time, and this is not the appropriate video to give you the geologic lesson, but I'll give you the Reader's Digest version, which is this kind of beautiful quartzite is found in bedrock form. In other words, the only mountains you can find in Washington made out of this beautiful blonde quartzite is in northeastern Washington. And so these beautiful quartzite, quartzite, metamorphic rock, quartzite cobbles have to be coming from northeastern Washington, and therefore the Yakima River is not the transport agent, is not the deliverer, is not the delivery truck. Instead, the Columbia River used to flow through here. And you're like, well, why isn't the Columbia River still flowing through here? Or why did it flow through here temporarily, south of Yakima, near Granger, Washington? The answer is, this is back during the time when some of the lava flows were erupting in central Washington. And each lava eruption diverted the rivers, dammed them up in some, time, in some places, and clearly diverted them in other times. And so it was a game of erupting lava, changing the course of a river, and then eventually having the river reestablish its course. And then another eruption does the same thing. I'm staying wide here with the lens. Thinking of Sky Cooley now, who's a classic dike person. Here's a beautiful classic dike coming up through some of these cobbles. But I'm doing a short video here, a little how to get to this spot, simply because when we did a PBS geology video talking about these cobbles, whoa, almost wiped out, and especially the part where I was pulling these cobbles away and out of this face as I'm doing right now, uh, 
I've lost track of how many people have said, where was that? I've, I'd like to see that place. I, I'd like to, to, to get a, a, a quartzite cobble from my own collection. Well, there's no shortage of quartzite cobbles from the old Columbia River here on Emerald Road, south of Granger, Washington. So I don't want to be too greedy, but I guess I'll sit down and uh, just try to give you a sense that they're not all quartzite cobbles, although that one looks like it. It's kind of a maroon quartzite. Columbia River blonde quartzite from northeastern Washington, up by Chewila, for instance. Go to the quartzite tavern up there, quartzite mountain, Chewila. But, uh, you know, you know how rivers operate. It's not all the same kind of rock in a riverbed. But you've heard, my main me you've heard my main message. I'll say it one more time. There's no way that the Yakima River could transport all these quartzite cobbles. There is no major quartzite in the mountains upstream of the Yakima River today. And there's all sorts of geology work by Steve Rydell, Terry Tolan, Bruce Bjornstad, many other geologists that have put this together over the years. Plenty other geologist names I'm forgetting at the moment. Now you know how to find the quartzite cobbles from the old Columbia River channel. Thank you. I love you. And goodbye.